okay so welcome back to this channel so in my previous video i have successfully updated the user profile with his profile picture and now in this video we will handle the update password okay so let's go to our uh, backend in the controllers i will go to the auth controller okay let's create a new function here export cons that is going to be update password okay in that we will have access to the um request response and then the next okay so now first of all we have to get the user so const user is going to be await user dot find by id and the id we will simply pass has request dot user dot underscore id which is the current user and remember that we have typed select to false for the password field so i will use here dot select and we will select here the password for uh, password also for the user because we have to compare the password so we get here our user and then i have to check that if the previous password because we will get the current password and then the new password so we check that if the current password is correct or not so for that i will simply actually can copy that from here um i can use this code okay I copy that from here and I can use that here so I will pass in here the request dot body dot current password and then the user dot password and if not password match I will simply return here next with new error handler I will pass in here the um, message that all password is incorrect and the status code is going to be 400 okay and if the password if the previous password is correct then we have to update the password so we will simply set here user dot password that is going to be request dot body dot new password okay we will set the password in the user dot password and then we have to simply save the user so await user dot save so it will save the user password and remember that in the models uh, we have written this a uh, pre a function that will basically inc encrypt or hash the password automatically when we will save that because we have used this pre save okay so it will save the hashed password in the database and then we have to return the response so i simply copy that from here and that is going to be um let's type here success that is going to be true simply save it from here and let's close this one go to the uh, me so auth in the me i create a new file that is called update underscore password dot js okay so i will copy that from here and put that here i don't need here this upload middleware and also i remove this code okay and i think so that is it that is going to be put and update password okay save it and now let's close this one go to our context auth context and let's um copy this from here and that is going to be update password so i will add that here so update password we will pass in here uh, the current password and then the new password okay so i will remove this loading from here then that is going to be put slash api slash me slash update underscore password and in here i will set the current password in the body and then the new password and if data dot success then i will simply router dot replace to slash me okay and that is going to be update password i simply copy that from here and i put that here okay simply save it and now let's create our component so i close this from here go to the components or new component that is called update password dot gsx i go to my chrome and then i go here in the auth we have here the update profile oh, sorry update password dot gsx in the buy it now okay so i will copy that from here then i will go back and i put that here 
and we don't need here the sidebar so I will move uh, sidebar from here okay because we have already set up that in our layout so now we have here update password now let's get our variables here first of all we will get the error and then the update update password okay and then we also have to get in here the clear errors from use context I will import this hook and then I will pass in here the auth context so auth context and then let's create here two variables first one is going to be current password and then we have to set up the values uh, here so value is going to be current password and on change I will use here so set current password that is going to be e dot target dot value okay now we copy that from here and use this for new password so new password and then we have here set new password okay then I will simply type here form so on submit I will call my submit submit handler i go here and i copy that from here simply copy it and also actually copy the use effect so i copy that and i put that here okay so we don't need here this user okay and then here i will simply uh, call the update password in that i will pass in here the current password and then the new password simply save it and now let's close this one go to our app me create a new folder here that is called update underscore password in that i create my file that is called page.gsx in that we have to call our uh, uh, component so that is going to be update uh, password and i will remove this from here so that is going to be password simply save it and now if i go back to my chrome and if you can see that here if i reload this page okay so we have to go back actually and make this component client component so components auth update password and that is the client so use client save it and now if i go back if i go to the update password we have this slash me slash and update underscore password and we have to import the use effect so i will import that here save it and now if i you can see that here now we have got here the update password form with the current password and the new password if i type here the current password like one two three four five six seven and then new password one two three four five six seven if i click here update so toast is not defined we have to import the toast so i will import here the toast save it and now if I type here that wrong password again click on update you can see that here bcrypt is not defined so we have to import the bcrypt so I go to the backend controllers uh, auth controller and we have to import here the bcrypt so import the bcrypt from bcrypt.js save it now if I click here update so you can see that here we get the error that old password is incorrect so i will type here the correct password one two three four five six and new password will contain seven so I click here update okay so inspect um, the console uh, we have this error okay so what i will do is i will go in the context auth context and let's type log here the log error dot response save it and now if i go back if i click here update so you can see that here that is um one two three four five six update now we again again have this error um 
if I go back actually in the auth controller we have here the current password and then the user dot password okay so if I log that here save it if I go back click on update so we get here that password which is actually correct so one two three four five six and if I also log here the user dot password save it now if I go back click on update and we actually get back here the password and then the correct password I think so my password was actually updated on the first time for the first time if I actually go back if I type here 7 and I type here 8 now if I click on update if I go back we get that here okay and if I log out let's log in again so gulam1 so if I type here gulam1 and then if I type my new password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if I click on login so now you can see that I am successfully logged in with the uh, updated password so in this way we can update the uh, user password I hope that you understand so that's the end of this video if you have any question you can post that in the comment section I will definitely reply there and also you can find the source code of this video in the description of this video as well so that's the end of this video I hope that you understand we have successfully worked on our user resource we have updated the user profile user password we have handled the login logout and user profile and on my next video I will go back toward the cart I go to the cart now I have to create my shipping page so if I click on continue I have to go towards the shipping page where you can select the address and then can place the order okay so I will handle the shipping page in my next video.